She shaves his head, he wakes up. Philistines are upon you, and they are. And he didn't know the Lord had left him. See, the important issues here are not actually the relationship with Delilah. The important issue here is the relationship with God. And this woman is influenced and away from that. We have tremendous influence on the ones we love, don't we? And he's muppet enough to have fallen for this one. Here is pretty much the point of this first part of this, this first part of the chapter. He didn't even know the Lord left him. What sort of tragedy is that? He still thinks he's big and strong and powerful. This is going to be great, it's fine, you know. He didn't know God left him. He got used to God stepping into the situation and bailing it out and making it right. But actually God has left him. This is a scary description of how backsliding works. He knew what he got into with Delilah. He knew he shouldn't have. He knew how she'd been bent on dragging out his secret. Why didn't he run a mile when he saw that happening? He knew that he'd finally given in and told her the whole story. He still laid down that night and went to sleep. He knew she'd already fetched fresh thongs, woven his hair in the loom, and so on and so on. He knew not only what he'd told her, but exactly how she'd used the information that Samson, in his infatuation, had given her before. But he didn't know that the Lord had left him. That's how it goes. And here's the church in Wales today. Responding to threats to the faith through campaigning and politics. Politics is no help. Because her locks lie in heaps on the floor. I suggest, fearfully suggest, it is a futile business trying to rouse yourself just as the Philistines are attacking when your locks already lie in heaps on the floor. We desperately lack the power of God. We desperately lack the power of God. He didn't know that the Lord had left him. And all up and down this land of Wales, it is all too easy for us, the evangelicals, to find ourselves exposed in exactly that very same position. All too easy to acquiesce in the right formulations of truths of your right. Or the right associations and allegiances of your right. Without cultivating the conscious presence of God and your walk with him and living each day not in your strength and ability but only by his grace. He didn't know that the Lord had left him. So they captured Samson and God let them. And they gouged out his eyes so that he was no longer a threat to them. And God let them. And those Philistines intended not that he should be killed by them, that would have been easy, become a martyr for his cause, but that he should live on as their plaything, a living illustration of the power of the Philistines and the danger of messing with them. And God let them. And they taunted him, and they dissed his God, and God let them. Samson began to treat all that God had given him as if it was his. And he could act as he wished because he had this great gift, ability, 
look where he came to. Blind and bound in Gaza. And God let them do it. And we see him next on show being taunted in the temple of David. And he didn't know the Lord had left him. And that's how he ended up.